Now. It's wow. It's recording, isn't it? I love it. Wow. Yeah, it's working great. Oh, that's pretty slick. Wow, that's a neat, nifty little screen you've got there. As long as it stays on. I as long as it good. stays on. <laughs> as long as those electrons are moving. Even as slow as electrons move <laughs> through wire. I like this mandolin science jam. I do too. It, uh, it adds a whole level of, of scientific nuance to the, uh, to the conversation. <laughs> Whatever that means. Effect. We got it go, all. Morocco's go. We have it all here on Radio Science News. I just love this little. What, what was that? Oh no, <laughs> nothing to be. Don't worry. It's the uh, man. The FCC calling, going, "Hey, you can't possibly be doing uh, episode number 800. I thought we closed you down." Did you clear mandolin music with the uh, NPR before yes. you started this? Yes, we did. Did you? Yes, of course. Clearance we did. for takeoff. <laughs> hey. Good morning, Richard. Good morning, Robert Strong. Uh, you are listening to and being a participant in That's right. Radio Science News this morning. Uh, this is August 21st, 2021. And as I just said, this is episode number 800 in a series. Um, I was just doing the math because I love doing math. And uh, if you played Radio Science News episodes every hour on the hour, it would be over a month of uh, episodes. It would be over. That's, that's it would be I over, have. yes. It's, it would it's, certainly be that's over. It, guys. it would be like 33 plus days. We're pulling the plug. Of I know. Just nonstop radio science news. I th- I th- that's just astounding. Um, for those prime number fans out there, uh, any number that ends in a zero, unless you've got uh, some interesting knowledge of mathematics well, that yeah. I do not possess, uh, that is <clears> not a prime number. Um, the factors are two, 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 two. Five and five, or two to the fifth and five to the second. I love the one. I love when you talk science. Interesting symmetry there. Yeah, there is. Yes. Wow. Symmetrical symmetry. Factorial symmetry. Factorial symmetry. So we, yeah, two to the fifth times five to the second. I love that. I think that's pretty cool. So uh, we're going to get started. Let's roll. Um, I'm going to take our uh, listeners to uh, my favorite uh, page on the internet, which is the Smart Center. So if you uh, follow me, uh, uh, if you're in a, uh, a Tesla self-driving <laughs> no, car, no. Oh, uh, you can still you, do it. You should put your hands on the wheel because I was uh, <laughs> noticing that uh, they don't seem to be self-driving as much as you you probably well, like. Listen, them I'm going to. Gonna, I'm just going to. I'm going to admonish them with the uh, with uh, the lyrics from the Doors. Okay. Keep your eyes on the road and your hands upon the wheel. I that's, think it's a great idea. That's hey, all I hey, can say. If, if, if you want your car to be the other driver, that's <laughs> fine, but you should be the primary driver. Yeah. If, if, if you're going to be in a car taking the responsibility, you should have your feet ready and your hands on the wheel and or at least near the wheel and you know unless you're a backseat driver that's what yeah I'm well 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 you shouldn't be in the backseat of a, a a tesla as the 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 only passenger well i'm just saying <laughs> uh, i'm not real, gonna do it real bad not, idea at, at, at present not gonna not, not, gonna, not wouldn't be prudent not gonna no um somebody needs to uh, the uh, the 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 AI needs to be a little more I. Oh, um, I like that. Uh, be, be, before I start doing that. So, um, if you would, uh, if you could pull over, or uh, or if you've got hands free, uh, you go to www.smartcenter.org. Uh, I see it, and man. when you're there, ooh, I'm there. Okay, there we go. I see the T-shirts right there, hanging the, yep, hanging in the middle the there. The trifecta rainbow T-shirts there that in triplicate, say, Radio Science News, uh, between Radio Science News and International Space Station. Oh, I choose Radio Science we're News. We're going to go to in, <laughs> Radio Science News today, yeah, just, you know, because that's fun. Well, but you're going to find out that when we get to Radio Science News Launchpad that the ISS is also listed there, along no with doubt. other interesting stuff. And I'm no going to doubt. tell you, just because I know you're an early riser. I am an early if riser. If you will take 30 seconds, I'm going to click on the International Space Station for okay, you here. which is? It's right there in that top line. Oh, oh, oh. oh I, I okay. always keep so it there for my convenience. So, so it's not in the 
in the uh, the the, oh, the gets, things we're going to do. It today. gets a bold print. Okay, so but. space station right above the call in one through a four. Okay. Now the so only reason why I'm doing station. it very quickly is that if you are as many friends I know, I mean I know I mean as many of my friends are farmers. I'm saying. Uh, there are this week something well, I have not seen this one for a long time. Uh, seven minute viewing of Whoa. the International Space Station at a maximum height of 78 degrees. But here's the problem all of these, and I don't consider this a problem because uh, 6 06 a.m., 5 20 a.m., wow. all of these, there are a whole bunch of really good viewings. One, there's one tomorrow that's really wonderful, wow, six that's minutes. amazing. But all you have These to do... These are really long. Well, and that's... I just wanted to call people's attention to that, because if you are an early riser, uh, you and the chickens can watch this. That's if assuming you have chickens. I don't have chickens, but I know that you do. I do. So here's Sunday, August 22nd, 6.06 a.m., six minutes, maximum yeah. height, 24 degrees. That's not... Great, but look at look at Tuesday. Look at Tuesday. Tuesday morning, six oh eight a.m. A seven minute. The the International Space Station will be in the sky for seven minutes, visible, maximum height, seventy eight degrees. That's really a, that's, that's really, really high. Good. So it appears ten degrees above the southwest, disappears ten degrees above the northeast. Seven wow. minutes. And of then transit on time. Wednesday, uh, the Another next morning, a little earlier, five twenty three. Five minute maximum height forty three degrees. Uh, these are really good. Yeah, and just just for your since as you are uh, math people out there, you're assuming that say forty three degrees. Well, how that's basically about halfway up the sky. Yeah, you're thinking almost forty five degrees. Yeah. Ninety means it's straight overhead. So anyway, I I just I didn't oh, want to spend too yeah. much time on that because I wow. I noticed that when I was because I always like to look ISS alerts. Uh, that's we've got stuff about COVID school. We've oh. got stuff about Congress. We've got Abbott. 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 Do you remember? Do you remember Abbott and Costello, don't you? Oh, I certainly do. Well, this is this isn't quite as funny as Abbott. Oh, and well, I'm sorry to hear that. I don't Abbott, know. Abbott, Abbott. Uh, okay, then there's this Regeneron. Regeneron. Now, yeah. now this is one you may not be familiar with. Ivermectin. I don't know. Ivermectin. It's new. It's a uh, it's uh, it's a new hair cream with ivermectin. We're going to talk about ivermectin, and uh, again, uh, well, there's a lot there, a lot of these things. I have these up here for you to look at and think about. If we were to discuss them too much, we Robert and I hours. might we might go off the rails because Oops. some of this yeah. stuff is a little irritating. Like the feed store, I know Robert, you have feed a store. You're I down at you're stores. down at Tractor Supply a lot. Constantly, I know, yes. Getting uh, getting stuff for your tractor. Uh, there's some cool stuff from from the Perseverance, the uh, the Mars rover. I, I, I find that fascinating that you've got the Perseverance and then and next Rolls to a feed Royce. Store. Well, the Rolls Royce story, this is going to be an interesting side view because I, I came up with this interesting story from Rolls Royce because it was on uh, one of the sites that's following the ECAT. Okay. And they were they oh. were wondering if this effort by Rolls Royce was a partnership thing. Now, I'm saying, you know, don't jump to conclusions, but there is something. But there in, may be. There's interesting stuff here. On. The rest of the stuff, I just found a bunch of really fins, cool stories. Fish rattles. fins. Snake. Rattlesnakes, <laughs> Subaru. Subaru, Iron Moon. Iron Moon. I love that band, don't you? They're, oh, they're a big I, hit. Uh, they're, 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 they're a big hit. I would crater for you. Do you remember that one? <laughs> <laughs> Iron Moon. Rayon, Rayon. Yeah. This is so great. This, this thing about the Denisovans is a really piece of interesting information. Since I was into archaeology, I, I, the page also popped up something about Etzanoa, Et which is a lost, which has been a lost archaeologist site that they think that they have been able to. Uh, they think they're on to where it is out in Kansas. You know, and again, hmm. it's another huge city of uh, of ancient Americans that uh, you know that they they knew hmm. was there. The Spanish mentioned it, and then that was lost. It's kind of like oh, sounds like the beginning of another you know Indiana Jones movie, except oh, it's actually real. And then there's one here. If we photonic. could, if we possibly get to photonic. Okay. Uh, it would take another two hours, of course, for you to explain it to me first, and then for me to uh, <laughs> boil it down into a discernible stuff. I'll tell you what, because we're going to jump into a few of the COVID things first, I want to just go to the chart. Let's do the chart. The chart at the end of the radiosciencenews.org page, and all of these things are live links. Whenever you're listening to this show, either the live stream, which sadly we are not doing this morning because my computer died on me, uh, and I'm, we're just recording live to be, uh, to be, to be furthered on to the Wheeling Pup, Wheeling's uh, Community Radio and the NPR station up in Connecticut, WHDD Robin Hood Radio. All that information is on the page, Radio Science News. Now, this is interesting. This, this, Say, took me to the, this, this took me to the Texas 
Health there and Human you go, Services. T for Texas. Texas Public Schools COVID-19 data. So why are we in Texas? Well, I, I decided that one of the things that's awfully, that's tough. First of all, these charts are really nice little straightforward line charts. They are nice. That I'm thinking, okay. I, and I'm just, mm. I want to say that like for people in Texas, maybe even the governors in Texas or things like that, I want them, I really want them to come look at this so stuff and understand it. COVID-19 cases in Texas public schools. Right, okay. Uh, the one on the left, cumulative po positive student, student cases. cases, new weekly COVID-19 positive student cases. So on August 7th, uh, just over a thousand cases, probably 1,100, 1,200 cases. Um, oh, so we're really talking about just a week, a change in a 15th, week, right? Fifteenth, uh, essentially, <clears throat> uh, we're looking at uh, four seven two nine. Uh, yeah, so th this would be as of the fifteenth. And if I'm looking we're, at this we're right, looking at f okay, I'm oh, okay. That's the th that has the three K. They don't my, show the four right, K at the top. My, my little, my little uh, doesn't show the no, four. No, it, it doesn't show a number. But I'm going going to estimate that it's in the four thousands. But I'm going to say so. It went, I'm oh, going to say tragic, tragic information, not so, to scale. So, so we're so we're looking at four seven two nine as at, of that day. At essentially a fourfold uh, increase. Well, and what is that over like a year or a month uh, or what is that? Oh, it's a week. That's a week. Okay, from August seventeenth to August fifteenth, um, cumulative. The one on the right hand that's side, the cumulative staff, yeah. positive staff cases uh we've got what looks like about um 1300 on the 7th to 2000 yeah and this is so that's okay. a pretty significant increase too yeah that is that's yeah that almost looks like it's about at 12 if it, I'm, it almost looks like it's at 1250 and then went up to right, three so so that's a 1.6 times increase in one week yeah Cumulative and cumulative. Wow. Okay, now while you're looking at that, you, now on your chart, I'm looking at my page, uh, scroll so that you can get the bottom. There's a little bit of bottom information. All righty. Okay, so. Total student enrollment as of January. <clears throat> as uh, of January. Well, let's assume, let's assume that okay. this is the, and I, you know, I don't want to spend too much time on this. I just want to look at this and I'm going to ask your opinion whether you consider this significant because we're looking at a, I'm just going to call it roughly 30,000. Right? Wait a minute, right. what is that number? 29? 29. They, how, what are you, where's the... Two, uh, that's, that, that, it's 292,000. Okay. Yeah, because... Oh, wait, 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 I'm so sorry. They've, they have their comma in the wrong place. Yeah, so which is They're, they're saying 29,000. Um, it's got to be 292,000. I bet it's 292,000. They've got their comma in the wrong okay. place. So I feel if better you, now. So, so, so if you do the math, um, <clears throat> 4,729 students that have a positive COVID response in that week, in the last week, Just a week. Uh, compared to the total student enrollment, that's 1.62%. Yeah, so, uh, okay, so I just wanna wow. look at that. Uh, there's other information on this page, and if you look, there's, you that's know, you can view a map, pretty, you can do all kinds of disturbed. stuff. If you have, so, a, if you so, have any questions, so we're looking you can... So we looking at over 1.6% of the students. Yeah, this is the students. Uh, now, of course, during that week have come up positive yeah. with COVID-19 in public schools in Texas. Now, yeah. if 1.6% of the students in Wheeling, West Virginia were coming up positive with COVID-19, I can't imagine the school board, the superintendent, everybody else not going Oh, 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 okay, guys. This is this is a little over the top. Uh, we really need to do a mask mandate. Could be serious. Uh, yeah. I yeah. Well, and they may. Be. We're going to see what. Uh, we're, I think Ohio County here in West Virginia. I think is already implying that they are going to do. Marshall County is waiting for further. I think they're going. What they're looking at is what the governor will, the CDC and the governor of the state. But anyway, this is significant stuff. The, yeah. The big deal here is stuff. that we're talking about students going back to in school. a week. This is a significant uh, week stuff. And there's a there's a lot. I'm going to go back to the uh, to the launch pad of science, because uh, I mean part of what anybody who is <clears throat> associated with school as a teacher or a student or the parent of a student on and on, uh, science news did put up a really nice little thing uh, that says six answers to parents so, COVID nineteen so questions. COVID yeah, okay. and this this was put up uh, just this last week. And again, they, I, we're not going to. 
go through this bit by bit because I, one of the things I know that does drive, what drives me a little crazy is to see stuff over and over again. Yeah. And I, I need to know where I can find it. This is where you can, this is a really good page, you know, how to be kept safe in the classroom. And they list, if you scroll down, they have a whole bunch of things. What else can schools do? And this the thing is, this is from a page where people are interested in science, so you may not be may not see all these things, uh, you know. But but scroll through this, scroll through this, and uh, use this as part of your information. Okay, so one to of the make questions: the How choices. can children be kept safe in the classroom? Uh, great idea. I'm I'm going to let you folks look through that. Beside masking, what else can schools do? Excellent. That's what we need to do. Are disruptive close contact quarantines necessary if everyone is wearing a mask? What a great question. Uh, another question, what if masks are optional at our child's school? Uh, those are the things everybody's wrestling with. Those are things people with. are asking. And does the Delta <clears throat> variant change things? I don't think we need to, yes, <laughs> to, to do a lot of conversation there. What should we do when our kid gets a cold? Yeah. So, uh, anyway, well, this if, is if well, <clears throat> frankly, if you you remember way back when, before COVID nineteen, when your kid got a cold, you're supposed to keep him at home, right? Yeah. Isn't that what they always told you? Everybody, there was no oh, send him to school. <laughs> let's immunize Nobody everybody. Ever said that. Let's 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 try to get more people. <laughs> anyway, a lot of good stuff there. I'm going to jump into a lot of this has to be put into context. The biggest context. And again, I don't want to beat everybody over the head with all the COVID stuff that's going on. So we're going to try to maybe blast through some of this. Okay. If if you, again, so our, our, the, our advice right up front is, hey, get your vaccine and and wear a mask. And as soon as possible. Do things because as everybody, even the people who claim that they don't want their freedom abridged, the way to get back to freedom is to do these things for one another, for hey, each other. Speaking of which, I was talking to my good friend Ted Bratstrom last night. Yeah on the, the phone. I have been not feeling great lately and he called to check on me and see how I'm doing. And uh, we got talking about various things. And I said, so, so how's the, the, the COVID going on in Hawaii where, where he is? And he's, he, he, he's a uh, school teacher type. And uh, he said that, uh, that Hawaii has mandated all teachers be vaccinated, have their yeah. second vaccination yeah, not just the one, by but, yeah. October 15th. Which means, folks, you have to have your first vaccination That's by right. September 15th. So here is Hawaii going, look, we're not sending our kids to school with unvaccinated adults. That's no. just not going to happen. We, we've, we, we've got enough problems with, 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 with the COVID problems. Um, and, and by the way, COVID is starting to explode in Hawaii. The, uh, um, uh, Hawaii, folks, is not on its fifth wave like we are here in, in West Virginia. They're on their first wave. Oh. They're on their first wave. They've been able to keep it down to this point, but the, but the, the, uh, the, the Delta variant has, has, has it's sort changed of so many swamped things. them. Yeah. Well, we need all So let's, let's take a look, <clears throat> you know, talk about people that, that you would trust or you under, think should understand things. This is a story about Congress. Congress. Three senators yeah, test positive for COVID, bringing a total number of cases in Congress to 72. Wait a minute. The entire so, Congress is what? Fourth? Well, let's see. If you, if you well, count isn't it like, the like Senate if, if and the House, Senate, it's 500. So, so like 550? Something yeah, I'm, th like I'm that. thinking that, yeah, well, let's call it that. Okay. Wow, 72, that's a big, I think they actually, oh, here, somewhere down there, they actually mentioned that it's uh, It's a high percentage. Uh, oh, boy, just I just don't know. And the other. So if it's 72 divided by, let's say, 550, that's 13.1%. Yeah, it's a pretty high percent. That's like, that, that's like, 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 like one out of, out of, out of eight. Yeah, that's like that's better than your chances with the lottery, right? I think so. This is sort of a lottery. Okay, and the thing that I found interesting, these, it's a lottery, all right. Here's the interesting thing: is these these are gentlemen who have all been vaccinated. Every single one of them. These folks, and, and the part that's interesting is uh, Roger Wicker, Angus King, and uh, Senator John Hickenlooper. One a Democrat. This is what also is interesting. One a Republican. One a Democrat. And one, one an, an independent. independent. Yeah. And of course, if somebody. I think I saw somebody make the uh, the comment that well, the, this clearly shows that the uh, 
it's not only bipartisan, but COVID, COVID-19, it's especially, tripartisan. especially since we're probably looking at a breakthrough infection from mm-hmm. the variant, which these gentlemen will probably absolutely survive because it's not a big, you know, when, yeah. that's the big deal. Is well, that, the, the, the deal is, is that is is is, is that they are going to survive because yeah. they they they, they, have they the did best get health and they have the best health care and they do have the best and they'll healthcare. probably get Regeneron and all the other great Cadillac mm-hmm. treatments. Tasty. <clears throat> okay, so I, I'm, just as we blast from this story back to the launch panel, I'm going to say I also saw I think Lindsey Graham mm-hmm. came out and he's he's uh, you know uh, <clears throat> I'm I'm hopeful that. One of the things many people have said is when they start seeing their friends and relatives get it, they'll be concerned. Well, I'm thinking, well, what do you say when you start seeing yourself get it? You know, maybe you'll take things more seriously. Yeah. Now, let's look, at this really gov- look in the mirror. Let, let's look at this governor of Texas, Abbott. <laughs> Abbott. <clears throat> and again, I don't want to spend too much time because the story here, and I, I'm using this more to set up the next story than anything. Okay. Texas governor, Greg Abbott, tests positive for COVID-19, and he's being treated with Regeneron. Well, that's really well, good. that's certainly nice. Well, it's important because you and I have been talking about the various antibody treatments that are available. Uh, the, one of our University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, Medical Center as, as a matter of fact, came up with another really great one that was inhalable. It was a story mm-hmm. that we did like months and months and months right. ago. And I'm not going to I'm not going to get frustrated by saying I wonder whatever happened to all Says, that. Abbott, who is fully vaccinated <clears throat> against the virus, was not experiencing symptoms as of Tuesday evening and is being treated with Regeneron's monoclonal antibody yeah, okay. treatment. Statement said Governor Greg Abbott today tested positive for COVID-19 virus. The statement said the governor <clears throat> has been testing daily. Oh. Daily well, that's and nice. today was the first positive test results. Okay, which means that he, depending on when he, the results would show up, that he's been. So, 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 if you're so concerned about this that you would for yourself, you mean that you would test positive. I mean that that, test wait, daily. Wait, wait, that that you would be testing daily right so seven times a week 30 times a month okay i don't know anybody that's had seven tests okay this guy gets tested seven actually, times actually, a week I don't, yeah. and yet has the uh, audacity <laughs> and 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 bold-faced nerve to go oh i, I you don't have to wear a mask no. well, he was, i don't care about you because i'm safe <laughs> well and, and i'm just i'm just <laughs> gonna on. say that one of the clear things is that he this, had, this, this just irritates me no well end. if you thought that irritated you oh this really irritates oh wait me. wait till we get to the next story you're gonna be really i want you to i want you to take I mean, a couple is, of breaths is, here <laughs> is, 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 is this is, is this not the guy where where, where people literally froze to death because mm, of the, yeah. the 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 electricity well, where, but, where 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 texas has coal power, oil power, um, gas power, and wind the power, southern part of nuclear the power. It's got solar power. Wow. It, it 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 makes so much electricity. It gives it away, <laughs> and yet you you you're. <clears throat> You you screwed things up so bad that people are freezing to death. Well, let's just see if uh, you're, what you're saying is you may see a pattern. I, as, I'm as just, well, I, yeah. There's no definitely way, a see, pattern. Now, like I said, now I'm, I'm, you have to force yourself to be really be calm good. on this I'm next sorry. story because I because Take a deep breath. <laughs> there you go. Don't, don't In the pass nose, out. out the mouth. So this is this is a story, and I actually this is on several different. Uh, okay. okay. Are we doing re- Greg re- Greg, Greg Abbott? Do you know Greg Abbott? Oh, we were just talking about. Greg I Abbott. think we were just talking about. And him. of course, Ron DeSantis. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, and here's what's interesting: the, the the basic gist of this thing is that it appears that they're using Regeneron to make the pa- it says to make the pandemic worse not better now what? i'm going so what? wait a minute what? what would what would that mean wait 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 well, wait let wait, me wait, let wait. me translate a little bit for you how 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 could you be taking this drug <laughs> No, no, wait, wait. See, you're, 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 here's where I'm going to say you're too, you're being, you're, you're being uh, oh, less I'm, nuanced than you yes, should be. I guess so here, I am. so here it is. Okay. The thing that you may or may not have seen, because I, I've been following this and I, I found this a little odd. You and I, you know, somebody even castigated us. Not that, not that it hurt that bad. Oh. For, for sometimes, you know, looking for angles that related to like the stock market or people financing this and that. Long story short, here we have the Texas governor, and we have especially. The Florida governor, right. where as you do look and I look, people go, "What are they doing? They're hurting their own people. They're right. they're spreading the de- well." Here's here's the real deal. If you look at what's happening now, is uh, it in this, especially in Florida, but in Texas, these guys are advocating. Well, and you you'll know that they're setting up all these little clinics in the in the garage, the bottom of parking garages, all right. that. Mm-hmm. Their thought is, you don't need to 
vaccinate people, what you're going to do is you're going to treat them with Regeneron because the federal government is providing it free to the public. Oh, and what does that cost? Well, it costs a lot, but now that, see, that's not so bad. And wait, wait, wait. I'm going to see if Follow you Follow the money. So I'm going to see if you So can... who owns re... Well, there's a... It, Regeneron is a company, REGN, on, on the stock market. Well, so who owns the <laughs> stock is what I'm asking. Oh, that's that's one thing. Because if your goal is to make people sick so that they use the Regeneron... Oh, the stock, the stock has gone up, like in the past two weeks, it's gone up 20 or 30 percent because they've started setting up in Florida and in Texas. So they're actually... And the thing is... Clinics. I'm I'm not arguing with monoclonal antibodies because they should have been used from day one. From day one, I and they should be agree. available to everyone. They and shouldn't it shouldn't be, just, be free. Yeah, and, and but it, but but you shouldn't. But 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 you should be taking the COVID nineteen va- a, a, a vaccine so you don't have to use it. Well, that. But if you did that, you might knock the sales of Regeneron. Oh, okay. and anyway, then your stocks. So would go down. let me give you the final part of it, bef- oh. and then we're going to move on because if you, when you know this, uh, basically, DeSantis is he is the, one of the huge his maybe the second largest donor to the DeSantis. Uh, coffers for his campaign finance is is the, the guy the you know CEO of the, the people in Regeneron. Are you serious? Oh, I am serious, and it's that it's that simple well, and that transparent. That can't be oh be it, be true. You wouldn't think so. I mean, that's so obvious. <laughs> well, I mean, everybody should remember should like, be able to see through that. Remember what we discussed about the, the age of nuance. Uh, uh, it's yes. not here. So anyway, I am just saying I am a total fan of monoclonal antibodies because I know of multiple different, you know, institutions and people that have excellent monoclonal antibodies. And Regeneron is actually one of the wonderful things. Now, they have happened to get, you know, as appropriate, it is appropriate that we at the CDC, the people at the CDC and the NIH and all that have decided this is a wonderful treatment and they're making it available because it really does make a big difference if you can but, get it. But what there is should its be no, cost? There should be no strings. Oh, it's very expensive, but it's being covered. Now. By who? <laughs> by, well, the, the taxpayers. By the taxpayers. It. Yeah. So it's essentially free money. Well, and the thing is, it, right? it, it, this shouldn't be connected. So, with... so, so, if you're sick, it's free to you. Yeah. But it costs an enormous amount. It's kind of like those hear- kind of like those hearing aids on TV. Yes. Right? This may be, or, or or getting your windshield fixed by the guy with a little suction. Thing sure. Well. All right. So, I'm just saying this is something that needs to be looked at because wow, here, that... here is. So, 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 are you are are you implying that? No, Somebody I'm is saying. literally ramping up people <laughs> sitting in beds. I'm not. I don't in, know that. I'm just in, saying. Um, ICUs just so that they can use this. Well, I'm just. I'm going to tell you that a lot of a because lot of, that's just wrong. Well, it is wrong. But I'm going to say that there literally are statements from a lot of the folks who are not pushing uh, masking or not pushing vaccines. Who are saying that this is this is the golden this is the goose that laid the gold? They even said the, it's the golden egg or something like that because it For is somebody. effective. It is effective and it's good, but it needs. But it's there needs only to be, effective and good if you get sick. Well, that's right. <laughs> but I'm saying there needs to be oversight on this whole scenario because one of the things that that you know, as I said, somebody said, you guys look at all these like stock trades of things as if there were something going on, and I'm just saying uh, it's maybe possible. there is something going on. Okay, so a couple quick things. We're going to blast through these because I, these stories are too too crazy. Uh, Invermectin. Okay. okay. I, I don't going, know about I never in, even in, heard of Invermectin. Inver- well, it turns out that, Robert, that all kinds of people are using, this is, again, there can be good science associated with this particular thing called Invermectin because it's something that's been approved for certain things, right? Okay. Uh, and and it's, it's established that it actually is safe for humans, but basically, you know what it's only used for? It's used to fight uh, it's to fight uh, in. It's used in in horses and other things like that to to uh, to fight worms and all kinds. Of, but the, and the incidental thing that they found was that it that it's possible parasite infections such as in yeah, intestinal, intestinal worms, worms, lice, worms and lice, lice and mites. And but here's the thing: they recently noted that it it's starting to study it because it does seem to affect viruses. Okay. And one of the things that could be positive, and I'm not going to poo-poo the idea because sure. this has fallen into the hydroxychloroquine mm-hmm. type right, of right. argument. Uh, they're saying SARS-CoV-2 virus uh, has to infect your cells, and while you know, then it goes on to say that. 
that this particular scientist believe that it that it works. Uh, you know, they're going through the mechanism here. It's kind of complicated, but the point is, this could be something that could work, especially okay. something that could be, you know, useful around the world. Now, the, the trouble is, it's basically, you know, because the World Health Organization is looking into it, and the whole point is, it's got to be researched. Everybody, and, and and you would think, like for example, Robert, you would, if I were telling you, hey, listen, you've got a chance to take the virus from Pfizer or Johnson & Johnson or Moderna, right. or you could go to the, oh, wait a minute, here's our next story, the feed store, let's click the feed store, and you could buy okay. some livestock invermectin no. and start taking it. No. Okay, I'm just saying, if you had that choice. So, wait, 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 so, so, so what's the difference between being, 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 being taken a, a known vaccine that's, that's created for human beings <laughs> for COVID-19 or going to the feed store wow. and, and and taking worm pills for I, a horse. I'm going to lay it out for you very simply. Here's oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what kind of moron would do that? Well, no. What kind of an ignorant person would go, oh, I'd rather go to the feed store and get worm pills for my horse because that'll do it. Okay, okay. Oh, come on. Well, I'm not saying they talked to Mr. Yeah, Andrew. This can't be. This can't be real. No, it is real. And here's the here's the thing. The reason why I... No, no, no. The reason why it is so troubling is that... Oh, it is troubling. A lot of people... It's it's kind of like what happened. You know, people... There is some fact to the, the point that is being investigated. And the long story short on all the investigations is we, bear, we don't have enough information... Right. To first of all, uh, th there may be some efficacy, but in terms of the safety. So anyway, so what's so happening in Mississippi take... is there there increase in, in uh, just read the first sentence. Report has been updated to include information. Uh, state health official alert. This is in Mississippi. Increase in incidence of infermectin poisoning. Well, it's for a horse. Well, well, look at the mass of a horse. These are not small. Well. What about Campbell's. if I got it for just a pony? Would that be better? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Pony deworming. Yeah. Great idea. Well, the thing is, people are doing this, and I. Oh. Uh, the part that is frustrating is, is as you put it. <laughs> listen, let me put it. Let me put it in a less subtle format for you, right? <laughs> oh, good. Okay. So, you're, if you if you want to if you're thinking of treating yourself or preventing COVID. It, like, who are you going to trust? Your government or the feed store? Or the feed store? Well, well but 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 again. This is not designed for human beings. Well, but that's, this is not a human-tested drug, and 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 unless you can do the math, well, and you know what you're doing when you're doing the math, because just because you just quantity you, of you, dosage, you, yeah. you take the 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 weight of the the average horse and and your weight and 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 do the math doesn't mean it's going to yeah, work. It's not the same as, metabolism as, 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 a, as a one to one. So I mean, I, it's our so. So 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 are we getting people that 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 are that are dead from doing this? Uh, I'm not quite sure, but here, okay. So just because I want to just briefly touch on it, according to the FDA, if you scroll down, you're going to see FDA Invermectin can cause. Okay, now first of all, let me in, let me put it in context. So far, it has been pretty much shown that over the millions of people taking the the vaccines, you know, nothing serious has shown up. Right. Uh, Invermectin can cause seizures, seizures coma, and, and death. death. Now, all three of those are pretty serious. Yeah, it <laughs> says, uh, though the Food and Drug Administration, uh, U.S. Food and Drug Administration, has approved Intervectin to treat people with conditions caused by parasitic worms and external parasites like head lice, the FDA worms warns that the form of Intervectin oh, used to treat animals are not the same product. Right. Oh. So, uh, you know, because it, it's going back to the weight of the... Well, and it's the same thing that happened with the hydroxychloroquine that people were, were going to the fish, <laughs> yeah, yeah, here's, here's, the here's exactly store. what I was saying. Oh, does it For down one there? thing, animal drugs are often <clears throat> highly concentrated because they are used for large animals like horses and cows, yeah. which can weigh a lot more than we do. A ton or more, the FDA wrote. Such high doses can be toxic yeah, it's, to humans. So, so that's the whole big thing. The, oh. uh, Just, yeah, anyway. Holy, so, listen. Holy cow! <laughs> Well, if if you're thinking of getting your horse medicine and taking it, I say, um, I say, I say nay. 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 Oh, gosh. All right, listen, I've got to get off the planet You've for a few minutes. You've got to be kidding. Perseverance. Perseverance. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> that's listen. Just, that's just mind-blowing. The long story short on all this is, as I say, when you have... It boils trust down to... Trust your doctor. Well, trust... <laughs> yeah, but, you know, we're saying trust doctors, trust science, trust, you know... The, the people that are trying to save your life. And uh, 
it's not it's not happening ever. Hey, hey folks we here at radio science news are not advocating doing stupid things okay well, i hope not yeah <laughs> Just get your vaccine. Get your please. vaccine and uh, because, help yourself and other people. Because it's part of being a part of the community. Yeah. Not taking it means you're you're separating yourself from the community, and you know that's not not a that's never a very good idea. Well, I'll tell you what's going to be fun for you if you are a fan of uh, you know the Mars rovers I and the different indeed. things that's going. I know you are, and and you are also, you're really big into the geology. And I'm looking at some. This is a wonderful long article. I'm scrolling very quickly because uh, Perseverance has now started. It's got the Ooh, robotic nice arm. Images. Well, when you scroll down a little, because it says even closer. Even closer. Uh, they're oh, taking. Oh, that's really beautiful. <clears throat> Look at that. Yeah. I love the blue hewn rocks and the red the the rusty hewn and, mesa and, and is uh, that maybe i don't know carbon dioxide i don't know if that's carbon dioxide snow it looks like almost white deposits wow. well and then look the part that's really cool is that they're doing close-up images to show the morphology uh, you're looking look at, at the that. one uh close-up image of a rock uh, on the end of the it's a, it's only a four centimeter by three centimeter thing and you're seeing wow. uh you're seeing this interesting morphology, textured rocks with interesting coating that might indicate that there's some with interaction water. with water. Now, if you scroll down, then there's one that says, is this uh, indication of uh, volcanic or igneous rocks? Mysterious holes, uh, light and dark patches. Whether like, you know, gas Potential has come crystals. up through this, crystallization. Oh. Uh, this is just really These cool are stuff. beautiful images. Look at that. This is just really... Uh, the beginning of, of what we're going to start getting. Oh, this is one where they've actually drilled out, right? Down mm -hmm. if you scroll yeah, down further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can actually it's see, a bore the, hole. See, yeah. see the borehole where, where, where Look at were. the difference in the uh, the color and the, the composition of what they're looking yeah. at. Yeah, so the, really surface, the, the surface has <laughs> a rusty orange appearance, and the material that's, that, that, that's come up lo looks like a, um, a, 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 a dry... A, a a a a a a a concrete. Yeah, it's like a grayish, bluish. Anyway, so this is this is just really excellent stuff. You know, take some time to look through this, and there's going to be a lot more coming. Devil coming across. Wow, coming from Perseverance. Oh, that's just so cool. So good stuff's happening on Mars. Thank you. Yep. The sort of orange planet. Our our tax dollars at work doing good science, taking great photographs, learning new stuff. Now, okay, I mean, since we've been, you know, we've been. Like I said, we've been a little bit deep in the in all the COVID news, and one of the things Robert and I understand is there are all kinds of things going on that should that should make people feel good. I, there was somebody who came on to one of the shows yesterday talking about how everybody apparently has a grievance about something, and they think that there's there's all this kind of stuff going around on all the social media about just how terrible things are, and, the, and they were stopping to point out. Uh, okay, so the people that are posting about how terrible things are have at their disposal a computer that's bigger than what NASA had in a large <laughs> building. You know, their point is stop yeah. whining like, about. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so the the thing is, this is this is a page with a lot of stuff. Some people are going to go, okay, you guys are we're talking about this a lot, and we haven't we haven't spent much so time. So this is Rolls Royce is testing a high a uh, hybrid electro, yeah. aero power and propulsion system. Okay. What's an electric? This is for hybrid. a roll, now Rolls Royce is looking at this for an aircraft engine. Oh 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 oh! Gotcha 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 gotcha. <clears throat> now right, and the right, thing right. is, if you right. they give the this, I was 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 thinking that this was for the car. Oh no no. Oh, okay. Because okay. okay. I'm thinking, boy, is this car going to go so fast it's going to fly? Okay. Well, <laughs> and the reason why this is an interesting story, this is posted on a page that follows. ECAT World. It's Rossi. If you're not familiar with that, you're going to have to sort of you're dig in. Going to, 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 there's to a, need to go to, to go through the the, the, the previous. There's a, there's a lot of stuff here. The point is, there are other sources of of, uh, of uh, innovation in the world of energy, and this is one of them. We've talked a lot about it, but the, the post the, the posting on here is because there's a lot of stuff that seems coincidental with what's going on with uh, Leonardo the Leonardo Corporation and and Rossi and his ECAT, and the fact that Rolls-Royce is right out front talking about carrying on all this kind of stuff here. They're talking about their testbed 108, the generator, which a lot of people say, look, this could be just a standard 
you know, and people that have a hybrid car understand that maybe you have a hybrid gasoline or hybrid diesel vehicle, mm -hmm. and it'll produce electricity. And, uh, you know, what you're, what you're doing there is is a very common thing. That, I, mean, I can remember the first time I saw this type of a hybrid thing was way back in, like, 1950s or 1960s. It's where they, they, they showed that you could take a little standard, uh, like, gasoline motor, run a generator, and if you could find the right kind of electric engine, and they had, them, you know, you could make yourself a hybrid vehicle. And it turns out that was the beginning of a lot of the stuff that we're driving now. You turn right. on television and they have commercials for all these hybrid everything. Well, Rolls-Royce is looking at the possibilities of incorporating the same kind of technology. At, at the very least, <clears throat> they're talking about using standard, say, jet fuel mm -hmm. or diesel, for, you know, and a hybrid thing to run airplane engines. And so... I'm going to say that's probably practical right at the level. Well, I say, yeah. Uh, well, the thing that this big po uh, posited here is they believe it's possible that the uh, the Andre Rossi electric generator, and they're talking about testing, and supposedly in November there's going to be some real public you know, stuff coming again, up. Very cool. And they, that's kind of the discussion going here. Now, of course, if you scroll down, you'll see the arguments back and forth. A lot of people go, oh, come on, this is silly speculation. All it is is a uh, well-packed, uh, you know, powerful generator, nothing else. And, and that's great because people are going back and forth on this. And basically, Robert and I are going to certainly wait till we see yep. more stuff. Now, yep. the other thing I'm going to point to you while we're on the page. Uh, okay, well, here's to your right on this page are two things that if, you, if you're not sure about this, you know, we, I think there's a lot to it. But here's the pre-order for the ECAT SK LED light, the most mm -hmm. energy-efficient lamp ever made. And when you click on it, what am I getting? I don't want that. Uh, you can pre-order the, the ECAT SK LED light. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that you could read about here. The point of it is that this is using, supposedly, the, you know, the ECAT uh, solid state generating right. of electricity. Now, the whole thing about it is people go, oh, yeah, well, these people are just trying to scam and raise money. Well, here's the whole thing. Here's the form. What do you have to pay up front? Well, there it is. It's Nothing. So if you and when you want to pre-order, this is a pre-order, uh, pre for orders and quantities of over 200 lamps, you even can get a discount. But we're talking about for twenty-five dollars. This is supposed to be a lamp that has. I mean, it's kind of like your whole whole stadium. Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna. I just wanted you to know that this is here, and the whole point of it is they're not even gonna until they have a million or basically the point is nobody's asking for your money or anything. Now the other thing, I'm gonna go back to the page, and this so, is. So has uh, th uh, uh, this is the the amateur astronomer talking to me? Um, is oh this is a is, concern. Is this going to be yes? Is is this going to be a a a a a light that's that's going to be of the right frequency so that it's not going to mess up the night sky? Oh, well, I, I I think a lot of that is will definitely be need to be considered, and I, I'm certainly con concerned about. It. Now the other thing I'm just going to look at is if you saw the 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 light the e the ECAT SK LED. If you look down below, here's another simple thing because I think I think we're going to actually we have a good friend Scott Ludoff who mm -hmm. heats a lot of stuff, plastic and all that. But okay, I'm clicking on this, and here's basically uh, they have taken the model of a company that was kind of controversial as it worked with Rossi uh, Industrial Heat. The idea is they're going to provide heat. They're not going to let you buy. They're not going to make you buy the device. Blah blah blah. They basically are are using a model for any place where heat is required where they will provide you the service. Right. So it, just a real quick thing, uh, Leo, Leonardo Corporation developed a revolutionary heating technology, the ECAT SK, uh, 20 years of research and developed based on innovative way to apply the physics of the electron, and then they have a whole thing where you can look through, produce temperature suitable for most current industrial processes without producing carbon emissions or any ionizing radiation. Right. I, I, I love that. In fact, the little the little thing that you click on says, no ionizing radiation, no greenhouse gas right. emissions, low cost. Yeah, so this is the whole thing. What they're basically doing, their model is, and they give you a few examples, food and drink production, cement production, space heating, laundry services, petroleum refining. See, we talked about that. Mm -hmm. A long time I'm ago. I'm sure Exxon might even be doing paper making, dry, anything that where you use anything that uses power heat. stations. Like you could take a coal-fired power plant in the state of West Virginia that has turbines, turbines, uh, and you could drive it with this. And so, but the point is, you fill this out and you send them your information. How you know what you know, and basically they describe your business and your heating needs, et cetera, et cetera. And you submit the form, and they'll 
they'll get in touch with you. So we may do that just as a little experiment here. Um, speaking of which, last week we had a, 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 a segment, this was on August 14th, uh, 2021, called Thermoelectric. Yeah. Where it turned out that uh, tripled the effective have been, yeah. right, have been able to 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 get three times the electricity from something warm. Yeah. Have those two oh. people come into contact yet? Oh, I, I'm sure they are. I'm sure they're people. I are. certainly hope so. Because well, I don't know though. Who wouldn't that say? be brilliant? Who could say? Who so could I'm say? I'm as as a, <clears throat> a radio science news co-host here. I'm just saying that if you are one of these people. Uh, look at August oh, sure. 14th on the on the launch pad of science thermoelectric read through that and then look at Rolls-Royce read through that <laughs> and put the two together oh, there's wow. your trillion dollars well I know I just let's just, let's do it right well, maybe we, we maybe we should do it can we get the I don't need dollars? to do that no, uh, you don't need that I trade, don't, right? don't 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 want to start a business like that no. but there are people that do well and it, it's a wonderful and concept wouldn't that be a wonderful idea it would be. All right, so that, that's a real interesting. Now, there are a whole bunch of other stories here. I, I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take the uh, license to jump from Rolls-Royce to Subaru because I'm thinking this Subaru. sounds like, I, I mean, I actually own a Subaru and I, I've had it for, you know, but I, I mean, a Rolls-Royce would be okay too, wouldn't it? I mean, mm-hmm. no, I don't think so. I don't know if the insurance might be up. Let's look at Subaru. Why six not and not seven? Hey, see, it says physicists finally have an answer for why the Subaru why? logo. Hey, wait a minute. You are only six stars instead of seven. See, I asked Robert last week. I said, you do know that the suit, there's, oh, there's an old Subaru. Look how old that is. The Boy, first, that's an old Subaru. When they first came that's out. A, that, that, that's a cute old one. Oh, this is really cool because uh, the, anyway, the the point is that the Subaru logo, uh, they, they have a cute little story here. But basically, if you look at the thing, it's been known by several people, uh, mentioned to me that well, the Subaru actually logo is derived from the star from cluster the, uh, Pleiades. Uh, Pleiades. Yeah. Yeah, and then it goes on and gets it gets a little more in the weeds about how. And so in in uh, so 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 in the the Japanese language, that cluster of stars in the sky has the name Subaru. Yeah, and then other people okay. were talking about the fact, well, part of it was that that they uh, they really meant that it was supposed to be like this, the corporations in, that made up Subaru. You know, it was like a lot of complicated stuff. But the real story is, hey, wait a minute. Everybody knows or talks about, the, the they go down here, Greek mythology, the Pleiades, known as the Seven Sisters. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they go through the seven sisters of the earth lifting titan named Atlas. And even the, now here's the whole point. Only six stars are visible and they're going, uh, wait a minute. They always talk about the seven sisters and the seven stars. And so, you know, I've always tried to see it. And I, I think at one time I'm going, well, I, I can't seem to find the other. One. What's going on no. here? But, but here's the explanation. It says, so what's going on here? Are there only six stars easily visible? The seventh is actually so close to the, see? to another star that it, really can't be discerned as separate. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's, it has to do with the... Right. Yeah, the uh, now, let me pause here. Uh, and let's go back in time. So here 1986. we are. 1986. Okay. All right, 1986. A good friend of mine from, 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 from college and secondary school, Ned Bradstrom, right. came to visit me in American Samoa. Okay? And... Um, uh, excuse me, Ned... Ted. Ned, uh, Ned Brashel, I'm sorry. Yeah, Ted Bradstrom yeah, yeah, is his yeah. friend. So, uh, excuse me, Ned. Uh, Ned Brashel. So, Ned Bradshaw shows up in American Small, the, the, the only one of my friends to, to, to have come, come to visit me. Because it was I didn't, I didn't know you were there. I know. <laughs> so, we're outside because I, it, it was, was, was one of the Friday night, um, 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 I, I had a, a a a a, a eight inch telescope a 17 and a half inch telescope nice and yeah. oh yeah it was fun and 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 i was teaching astronomy class at the school and and as as the the laboratory for the class i do star watches every for a right a right a right night so ned comes out and he's he's standing there and um we're looking around and he goes so so what are we gonna look at next and we're staring around and i said oh, we're 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 gonna go to the seven sisters he goes, where's the Seven Sisters? I said, it's that little star cluster right there. And he goes, fuzzy thing, so yeah. why is it called the Seven Sisters? I said, well, most people can only see six stars, but there's a seventh star kind of close by. Yeah. And he goes, 13, 14, 15, 16. So wait, this guy's starting to count uh, what he can see. He could see 17 stars. I said, oh, that's a crock. <laughs> and my students are laughing at this guy, right? 
And, you know, and then and he's going, no, no, I, I can see that. And, and I'm going, no, you can't, Ned. And so I uh, had, had a, 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 a little sign in she's a sheet with red, with red flashlight attached yeah. to it. And I said, okay, Ted, draw, um, um, Ned, oh, draw yeah. me what you're seeing. Before you got the telescope. Before telly. you look at the telescope, draw me what you're seeing. And Ned Breschel drew the seven sisters like you were looking through a pair of binoculars. <laughs> he is one of these rare individuals <clears throat> that when you look at the seven sisters, he sees more than seven stars. So he actually saw the dominance, all including the one that was so yes. close. Okay. He was seeing well, yeah. seventh magnitude stars. He was seeing seven and a half magnitude stars. Now this wow. was Samoa. There were the, the, the scene was very, very good. But what must this guy be seeing on a normal nighttime sky? Yeah. Blows my mind. So when people say, Oh, you can only see six, oh no, Ned Breschel could see 16 he could see maybe 17. now when you looked at the, with the telescope you could see these in the the field yes. around it oh too. yes 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 well yes. that is so cool now the, the 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 basic thing about this is and of course this is what they're basically saying that uh you know well what did the greeks get it so wrong or did they have better telescopes and no, no part of it was that like when they're talking about uh that far back in time it says the uh, movement of the stars explains the two puzzles the similarity of the greek and the aboriginal stories about these stars and the fact that so many uh, cultures call the cluster seven sisters, even though we can really pretty much only see six, it, it's basically because of the, the movement that occurs right. in all these constellations. So, so as yeah. they're moving closer and closer together, you do only, you do only yeah. most people, you can't I should resolve, say, you can't most resolve people it. only see six. It's a little bit like the the, uh, the Big Dipper, where you have the sure. rider and the horse of the, yep. and the handle. If you look... Yep. You know, sometimes it, it, you know you can see it if you have really good vision. But if you look through a binoculars or telescope, you realize that what you couldn't resolve as two stars really is a binary. You know, up there or a visual so binary. Is, anyway. So is that not cool? It is cool, but yeah. I, we're, so I'd like to know how he's doing now. You know, so 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 in talking to him, it turns out he said, "Yeah, yeah, um, I'm, I've had my my eyes tested. And I've got 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 better than 2020 vision." Yeah. And 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 he said when he has 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 talked to doctors it turns out that the fluid in his in his eyes is clearer is very, than very, most yeah. people have well and, it, and it's also possible that uh say like in terms of his retinal cell mm -hmm. makeup, there, there there might be a greater <clears throat> density of the closer of together the, yeah. smaller so like higher resolution so whatever yeah. so whatever's going on that is cool he sees things that n most people do not normally see with the unaided eye yeah. So I just, I, it just mind. Well, mind that's what mind. happens when I watch the news. I see things that other people don't see. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if it's a, I don't know if it's a gift or a curse. Well, I think it's a curse. Well, I'll tell you what. Since we're sort of looking, we're still staying up in the, uh, you know, the beyond the low Earth orbit, <laughs> which, you know, most of the time we don't get it. But uh, let's let's go to. We did a story last week about. Uh, the moon magnet where they were okay. there were issues about uh magnetism on the moon and they're trying to just it had a lot to do with whether it, there ever was a you know a, a, a magnetic field because of the core right. or, or whether it was because of impacts this is a a separate thing that, uh, that just popped up and i said having talked about it last week this is really cool and it says here comes the sun planetary scientists find evidence of solar driven change on the moon and i'm, I'm intrigued okay. it says tiny iron nanoparticles unlike any found naturally on earth are nearly everywhere on the moon now that's exciting. did I, I i was not aware of this little so thing so would would that not well if if you had tiny iron nanoparticles on the, on the earth they they'd start reacting with with yeah, with, they would, with, sure. with with oxygen and water and we we yeah, that would be the, the first they, they would rust almost instantaneously they would just be chemically right. obliterated right. on our planet so it's so <clears throat> says uh they're they're found uh, er, everywhere on the moon and scientists are trying to understand why well that's why and well, that's part uh, if, of it, yeah. if, if well, well how did they part, get there that's part, the real thing my here. my my theory without reading this is that when an when an iron nickel uh a, a, a meteoroid it impacts on the moon well, and there's vaporizes your, there's your nano that particles. when it, that 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 they, they they're going to get iron and nanoparticles. I that's the, the, that's what I think. Now here's the cool part. Scroll happen. down so, past the. Do, so, you have, I, do you have a Kroger sticker popping up on yours? I, I, no, no, I, I do have not. something else. Okay. <laughs> so if you get down to where it says the, uh, the what's what's really interesting is the interaction between these 
the stuff that you have, like you know, like you're saying, the rock and the soil, and the, mm -hmm. uh, and the interaction with solar radiation. So it says as it breaks down other stuff. It says asteroid impacts and solar radiation affect the moon in unique ways because it lacks a protective magnetic field and atmosphere that protect us here on the Earth. But both asteroids and solar radiation break break down lunar. Ah, rocks and soil forming iron nanoparticles. Okay. Oh, this is so even, so so it's the so it's the solar radiation, the cosmic rays are 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 impinging on are, all are in, impinging and freeing the iron out of the soil. Cool. And then and then it, it really goes on neat. talking about the Apollo samples and they're they're you know the smaller uh, they form at a similar rate as radiation damage in samples returning from the Apollo missions to the moon. The sun has a strong influence in uh, their formation. Yeah, this is really cool. That makes cool. perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. With 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 solar solar wind, yeah, it goes right down to the surface. Oh, and then what do they say, Robert? Again, NASA is preparing to land the first woman and the next man on the surface of the moon as part of the Artemis mission. I'm telling you, you and I have talked about this, folks. So I certainly much. hope. Well, I hope they I hope, get. Hope the funding lasts. Hope it works out. Anyway, yeah, me too. That is really cool. That's stuff. awesome. So it's not just the 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 the, the meteoroid. The impacts. It's the it's yeah. the it's it's the the cosmic rays. It's the solar wind, uh, and all everything combining together to turn the the soil over and and loosen up the iron. That's cool. That's very cool. And it's, yeah, if, if if that were on the Earth, it would disappear. I mean, you, in in the blink of an eye. And the other thing that's interesting is says that uh, since iron absorbs a lot of light, the very small amounts of these particles can be detected from very far away, making them a great indicator of change on the moon. Very, it, very cool stuff. That's so very cool anyway, stuff. so we, uh, I think that's about all the space I could, now I, I get to say, we saw some, uh, there are a couple, I, I found this first little animal story about the uh, structure of fish fins. <laughs> okay. Cause I was fishing, you know, this last week and you know, I'm, I'm a total catch and release guy. You know, if sure. I catch anything at all, I'm, I'm I release a shout of joy. So, <laughs> so, so, so you're the so you see so you're the kind of guy that doesn't use barbed hooks. I hear that's right. We were talking about that last yes. week. Anyway, this is a really cool thing because uh, they they have a picture of a little goldfish here, just Aww. a little common goldfish. But they when people look at I love stuff that's uh, what we call bio mime or biomimetic where mm -hmm. they look at. Uh, they wonder what makes, here's a question, what makes fish fins so strong yet flexible, right? Okay. And so it goes down through, uh, there's a long story here. It tells you to go peer into a fishbowl. Well, I've said that to people too. But, uh, <laughs> Stare into a fishbowl and after but, you're done, you can get back it, to me. But this whole thing about the, <laughs> the structure of what they're determining about the structure, the organic, you know, here we have a, uh, you know, a, a it says fish move the structures by twitching sets of muscles located at the base of the fins. But he has all these weird stiff rays, and they can be manipulated individually. Mm. Uh, and the long story short is they're now seeing the possibility for all kinds of just really amazing, amazing things uh, in terms of, of structures, whether it's armor or airplane wings. Because they're talking about... It's a little bit like an airplane where you can drop your flap, you know, could mm -hmm. change. It says, except you're moving a solid thing in some, these are things that actually, it says, it says your airplanes can do this when you drop your flaps. But that's in a rigid way. A wing made out of a morphing material, in contrast, could change its shape radically and in a continuous manner, much like, you know, a bird does its individual feathers yeah. and things. And I was also thinking, I was watching something with uh, turtles swimming in the ocean and the way, you know, it's not like a single shape thing. It's something that you can see is constantly, they can change it subtly right. to do different things, you know. So anyway, uh, there's a whole thing about what they call hemite, hemite tricks. Your thing is 25 seconds off of my thing. Well, this would just be the length of... Uh, so, 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 so are we going to... We'll stop right stop? at one, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's just my... Uh, my audio file time right. length there. I just want to make sure that. All right, I'm so this is a right. really cool thing, but I, I want to say, well, we just have a couple minutes left. The uh, oh, there's some really there's some really cool stuff, but the uh, the rattlesnake one. Okay. Since I'm a musician, yes, I'm you always are. thinking about sound things. Rattlesnake rattle tricks human ears. It tricks human ears. It tricks human ears. Oh, I see. We're we're down to like one minute left, so you can start your theme song if you want. Okay, and I, I, we'll, I'll tell you what, we're going to touch on this later, but this is such a good story. Uh, rattlesnakes are tricky. <laughs> rattlesnakes are tricky. And here's what's tricky. <laughs> Forget the humans. All right. Rattlesnakes evolved in, with a rattle that uh, 
knowing that, you say, like a big a buffalo was approaching you. All right. It says they literally change the frequency mode of their, their rattle in a way that will confuse the, like a buffalo or something to make it sound, cl- it's like almost like a ventriloquist. It, the sensation so it is that it it's closer. Like it's else? Makes it sound like it's actually closer. Oh, so depending they back on, away. But literally, depending on the rate of the clip clop coming mm-hmm. towards it. Very complex. Uh, we'll, we'll touch wow. on this again. Okay. This okay. Is that, that, fascinating. Sounds, that sounds really cool. Anyway, thanks for visiting, and I hope you'll visit with us again. Radio.